Um, we have, and if they could just um, wave their hands so you can see who they are. Frank Baker, former city employee. <laughs> Doug Bennett will meet in a minute. Stephanie Everett, Deputy Chief of Staff to Senator Sonia Taylor Nunez, and Rockford Eastern College, and a Mattapan resident. Uh, Craig Galvin, business owner. Uh, I heard he was the former mayor of Dorchester and a resident of St. Mark's. Martin Hogan, he's an IT consultant. He's a former president Day Parade, which we've all marched in at resident of the Ashmont neighborhood. John O'Toole. Former <laughs> president of the Cedar Grove Civic Association, member of the Plumbers Union, resident of Neponset, and Meredith Tewitt. neighborhood resident. So each of our candidates are going to have two minutes to give an opening statement because we want to get to know who they are. They're going to introduce themselves, they're going to give us a sense of why they're running and what they hope to accomplish when they get elected. Um, they're going to give us a closing statement as well, but, um, and I want you to note that the order in which they are speaking was determined randomly. Um, also because of the number of candidates, uh, we've limited the questions, we prepared them in advance. We hope that um, we've captured the concerns of most of you here in the audience. If you are at the end of this program left feeling that your question or concern is still outstanding, we want to encourage you to reach out directly to the candidates and the campaigns, because um, that's why they're here, to make sure that your questions and concerns are answered. Um, for now, we hope that we have done a good job in addressing um, some key issues. There are five broad topic areas or question areas that we're going to try to tackle. Jobs, public safety, housing and development, education, a question about the candidate's approach to representation. I'm going to pose one question to the candidate. Our candidate will have one minute to answer that question. In cases where I have a multi-part multi question, and there are just a couple of those, I'm going to pose the question separately. The candidate will have one minute to answer each part of the question. We'll make sure that it's clear, not confusing. Once we get going, it's going to become very evident how this works. And the candidates um, have a timekeeper, so they don't have to rely on me, because I, I know that I would lose track of the time, just like you all might lose track of the time. Our timekeeper is Davida Andelman. OK, sorry. OK. Deidre Cummings. I'm sorry, Habesha. Habesha. She is our timekeeper, an able timekeeper at that. We're pleased to have her here from Ward 13, and she's going to make sure that we stay on track. Um, and then following the program, with time um, remaining, we're going to be able to hear from, hopefully, a couple of the candidates around District 4, but we'll see how that, we'll play that by ear. And we want to encourage you all to stay, assuming that we're going to be able to move forward with that. Okay, I want to acknowledge somebody else who's here. Um, the former executive director for the Democratic State Committee is here, Stacey Moynihan, and she's a Dorchester resident. And she um, recently left the party to go on to be chief of staff to Dr. Judy Ann Bigby, who's the secretary for the Executive Office of Human Services, Health and Human Services, and it's great to have um, Stacey with us and the party supporting what we're trying to do tonight. Okay, let's meet these candidates. Um, two minute opening statements. And you wanna introduce yourselves, like I said, to tell us who you are, why you're here, why we should care. And I wanna say that um, from the outset, how we do care. And we do wanna congratulate each and every one of you because by standing for office, you've shown your commitment to this community, your courage, and we hope tonight you will also show us your candor and thoughtfulness about some key issues. Okay, let's get going. So, our first, I'm sorry, thank you. We're gonna open up with John O'Toole. John, two minutes, please, okay? Thank you. Good evening, everybody. My name is John O'Toole, and I came to the City Council District 3 here in 
Start again, Jeff. That was your warm-up. Can you hear me now? Good evening, everybody. My name is John O'Toole. I'm a candidate for City Council District 3 here in Dorchester. First of all, I'd like to thank all of you for coming out on this warm August evening. Um, I'd also like to thank First Parish Church and the Dorchester Democratic Ward Committee for providing this forum. Uh, when you take a moment to think about on the very ground that we're standing, there's 380 years of history on this very, very site. When the first settlers landed on the Mary and John in 1630, they sought this high ground here to set their, their, up their ordinance and to begin this Dorchester community that we're in today. And to think that we're in the shadow of the oldest uh, public elementary school in the North America, the Madden School is just behind here. It's really humbling to stand here and discuss the future of Dorchester as they did 308 years before that. Um, the reasons I'm running for this seat is uh, my passion for Dorchester. Uh, I love the neighborhood of in Dorchester. It's made me who I am today. And the reason that I feel I'm qualified to do this job is that I, I have over 20 years of experience as a leader of numerous organizations, uh, one including the Cedar Grove Civic Association for 15 years. And in that time, we were able to make great improvements uh, throughout the neighborhood to make Dorchester a better uh, place to live. Uh, I look forward to the questions this evening, and I'd like to thank you, uh, thank you for your support. Thank you. My name is Meredith Tuitt, and I want to thank the um, Ward 15, Ward 13 Democratic Committee for hosting this event, and First Parish Church also. It's a beautiful place because I love historical churches. Now, I want to tell you a little bit about myself. I'm a mother of two young adults. One is an early education teacher, and the other one is in college. I have five brothers. I'm going to tell you how hard that was. I'm a United States Navy veteran, 14 years active in reserve. Uh, we are all proud alumni of the Boston Public School System, so I, I, I have to say I support the school system sometimes, you know. And then I also want to tell you that I'm Chief of Staff of State Representative Gloria Fox. I've been newly appointed as a Justice of Peace for the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and a Commissioner on the Mass Status of Commission of Women, and it's something I've been aiming for for a long time, and I'm proud to say I'm here. Um, as a veteran, I sit on a variety of different um, American Legion, Carter Post, I sit also BFW on um, post 1018. Other than that, I sit on board of a, a variety of youth uh, development organizations here in Dorchester and Boston. I'm here because I want to be your Boston City Council for Dorchester, not just because I love Dorchester and the diversity of Dorchester, but I understand what it is to be an elected official. I've worked in that capacity in um, a, a variety of different times with Representative Gloria Fox and also with Council Yancey Constituent Services. I've worked Constituent Services since 1998 when I first started working in politics. I understand what it is to call and have a struggle or issue. So I want to be your voice. I want to work for you on your issues, your education issues, your public safety issues, your housing and your, your job creation stability here in Dorchester. And I also want to say that I understand the diversity, not because, you know, every, I'm, I'm not born here, I'm Caribbean, you know, and I have to say that I love being Caribbean, but I love Dorchester. Thank you. 